I'm Wanda from Melinda Craft and today I'm going to show you how to make these awesome cushions. Now they're made from 5 inch squares. You can use a charm pack or you can cut your own, it's up to you. But they're so quick and easy and don't they look amazing. So let's get started. So what you're going to need are 9 5 inch squares. Now you can cut your own but I'm actually going to use this pretty one here by Moda. It's Prince Charming by Sandy Gervais and I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But um, you're going to also need a piece of batting uh, and I've cut mine at 16 by 16. Uh, just to give me plenty of leeway for trimming up later because it'll all depend how you sew your squares together. You'll need two one inch strips cut across the width of the fabric so that is having the two salvages together and just cutting straight across. And then we have a backing piece for our cushion and that is 18 and a half by 15. So the first thing you need to do is lay out your squares how you want them to look. And I've done that here, I've laid my squares out how I think they look quite nice. And then what I need to do is to sew the rows together. So I'm going to take the first square and put on the second one right sides together and sew with a quarter inch seam. Then I'll sew those two to this one again with a quarter inch seam. And I'm going to do that with each row. So I'll go and start that now. So I've sewn the squares together in rows as you can see here. And what I've done is I've pressed them. I'll just turn them over so you can see. Now I've pressed these three going one way, these going the opposite and these going back the same way as the first lot. Now the reason that we're going to do that is so it doesn't matter which way you choose as long as the middle ones are opposed in the top, up top two um, is so that when we come to sew them together they'll join nicely so you see they'll nest in beautifully there our seams and if you feel you can feel it's nice and and flat and just joins in just butts up to each other so that'll mean that our joins will be nice and flush so I'm going to do that now, so I'll place the top row on top of the next row and I'll sew it together with a quarter inch seam and then I'll do the same with the bottom row. So I'll go and do that now. Okay, so I have sewn my rows all together and I've pressed them. Now those last seams I've pressed open, as you can see here. And the reason for that is I don't want very much bulk in these pieces here because I'm going to be doing some top stitching. So what I do now is I just place it over my piece of batting and don't worry about the fact that the batting is so big because we do have our border pieces to go on as yet so that's fine you do need that overhang now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to stick some pins in just to hold it okay now you're going to have to be careful where you place your pins because depending on what you're going to be doing you can actually sew on either side of the seams if you wish you can use a decorative stitch you can quilt it but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just top stitch right down the diagonal on this side and again on this side and then I will just fill in each square so that each one has a diagonal cross uh, going over it. So I just need to be aware of where I'm putting my pins. But I'll go and do that now and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay so now I've finished quilting the top of my cushion so I've sewn all my diagonal lines and you can see here there's a cross in every square. So now what I'm going to do is start adding the borders. So just cut the salvages off from the strips that you uh, cut originally and lay it face down, so face, face um, right sides together and just line them up along the edge there, just along one edge. Now I'm just going to trim that off. You can come back and trim it again later. I like to leave myself a little bit of wiggle room. But anyway, there we go. And I'm going to sew that with a quarter of an inch seam. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the opposing edge, so on the this edge here as well. And that's as far as I'm going to go at this point. So I'll go and sew those on and then I'll come back and show you what to do next. So I've sewn my border pieces onto each end. I've used a quarter inch seam as you can see along here and then I've pressed them back onto the batting. So I've done that at both ends. Now then I've also trimmed the pieces of um, border and to do that what you do is fold back your batting and flip this over fold it back right out of the way and then run your ruler along so that it lines up with your squares and just trim it off okay just along here make sure you don't cut your batting right so now we're going to attach the uh, the other strips of, of border so I take my strip and I find I'm going to put it placed down and I'm just going to line it up, it doesn't matter if you go over a little bit because you can trim it 
and run it down here and right over the border pieces as well. So there and the other one I'll just run here along the edge and I'm going to sew down those edges with a quarter inch seam on either side and then we'll press them open as well. So I've sewn on all my borders now and I've trimmed the, the ends so it's all nice and neat. Now what I'm going to do is trim up the batting. So I just take my ruler and place it along one edge, just level with the, the border and trim that off. Okay, just like that. And I'll do that on all four edges, so I'll go and finish that now. So now what we're going to do is take the piece that we cut at 18 and a half inches by 15 and we're going to cut it in half. So each piece will be 9 and a quarter by 15. So here we are, I've cut mine in half now. And what I'm going to do, and now you need to do this on both pieces. I'm just going to do it on one just to show you. I bring my ruler over and I just measure in a quarter of an inch. Okay. And I'm just going to draw a line down there using a friction pen, don't use a ballpoint. Okay, and then I'm going to move it in again on that line and a quarter of an inch from that line I'm going to draw another line. And remember you're going to do that on both pieces. So what we need to do now is we just fold it along, you just finger press it along here on that first line that you drew and then fold it in again on the second line and then we'll just go and give that a good press so that it's nice and, and neat and flat. Okay so now I have ironed those pieces down so they're nice and flat and now you want to go and you're going to top stitch as close to the edge as, you, as possible on each side. So what I've done now is I've top stitched along both pieces of my fabric and now I'm going to start assembling the cushion. So what we do is we take it and our piece and we lay it right sides together. Okay. And then we take the other piece and we also lay that right sides together. Now, we want to have our seam line facing towards us because when we turn this through, we want to have our nice neat finish showing on the outside. Now, we're going to have an overlap here and that's just what we want because this is an envelope cushion cover closure. Now I'm going to pin these pieces in place making sure that I keep those nice and neat and flat and I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch down each side. I'm going to run off at the end here and then I'll start again and do the same along the bottom, run off, start again and come up here. So I'm going to do all four sides. So I'll go and do that and then I'll show you what we need to do next. So I've sewn all around the edge now and what I'm going to do now is clip the corners and uh, so we don't have any bulk on the corners but before you do that just turn your cushion through and I've already done that to check it just to check to make sure that everything's sitting nice and that all the seams have caught in and you've got nothing uh, no edges showing so if you've done a quarter inch seam it should have taken it all in anyway so let's clip our corners and what we need to do is we go across the the corner here making sure that we don't cut into our stitching because otherwise everything will unravel and I like to just cut a bit of bulk away as well so I cut it on an angle from the corner just leading out or from in here just into the corner so that it's you get rid of a lot of that bulk there so I'm going to do that on all four corners then I'll turn it through and give the cushion a good press so there we are I've pushed the corners through and I've given it a press and it's all finished and here's our envelope opening and all we need to do now is to get our cushion and to pop it in there so push it in one side and then you simply fold it towards you so that it goes in and just push it into the other side there you go nice and easy and so just push it out to the edges because these will go, they'll work their way in as they go, they're always a little bit bulky at the at the start. No, everything seems to sit in the middle, so you just need to sort of work it out to the edge, just like that. And there we go, opening sits nice. And there you are, there you have it, isn't that gorgeous? Quick and easy. Now if you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, and uh, you'll find more great tutorials there.